I hate this warp speed. All right, let's get started. <laughs> this is two Star Wars. I hate it. Ah! Okay, so this is fucking weird. It's telling me my traits are active. But I can't see any of them. Okay, whatever. So this is Mirror Me. On Mirror Voyager. Discussing the mirror plans. Oh god, that's just... Discuss the Emperor's plan. The operation is about to commence. We've entered Federation space undetected, thanks to security codes obtained by Imperial agents. By the time we drop out of warp in the Sol system, it'll be too late for the defenders of Jupiter Station. Uh, I really should have brought a Nanopulse Batleth if I'm going to be playing as Mirror Me. I do, I do have the purple Lerpa. Like lambs to the slaughter. This plan is reckless. Even for you, Marshall. We're not dealing with a legion of witless cyborgs here. And I'd rather not end up in a Starfleet prison for the rest of my days. Or, you know, dead. Your position is noted, Captain. Perhaps you'd like to voice your concerns to the Emperor? It is his plan, after all. No? Anyone? I didn't think so. Fortune, as they say, favors the bold. If we succeed today, the favor of the Emperor will be ours. So, please, summarize our mission objectives, Marshal. Okay. I can accept that. That actually does sound... That actually does sound a little bit like me talking to a voice changer, but I suppose that's appropriate. Very well, Inquisitor. Listen closely. Once we arrive at Jupiter Station, we'll offer them the chance to surrender. They may show their bellies without firing a shot. If not, we'll deal with them and board the station. We will find the Emperor's prize, secure it, and return to our universe and the great reward that awaits us there. For the Empire. It's about time. I could use a good fight. As in the 23rd century, battles aren't won with karate chops and smirks. Bloodthirst built the Empire. You'd be wise to remember that. It has served you well so far, Captain. If it gets in the way on our mission, I won't hesitate to put you down. Yeah, yeah. Stop flirting with me. You'll make Camargue blush. <clears throat> Do recall that Marshal Janeway does not suffer fools. And we are on her vessel. You're not going anywhere but the grave! I think not, traitor. Enemy dark shadow long enough. Shut up, fight. Should have done this a long time ago. Enough. I'm surprised you have the backbone to try. Aw, look at the mess you made. The marshal's gonna get cranky. Bravo, well fought. Three cheers for. Stop. Kamarke, we're not doing that. An assassination attempt before breakfast? Rude. Nice to see I'm not the only one who's tried to end you, Inquisitor. Unlike that idiot, I live to tell the tale. And hey, you got that sweet voice box out of the deal. Yes, you tried, and you failed. Fortunately for you, I'm a loyal servant of the Emperor. Because he wishes it, you're still standing. 
Should that change? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? Believe me, if we get to that bridge, I'll be the one blowing it up underneath you. But for now, the Emperor says we have to play nice, so this is me, playing nice. See you at Jupiter Station. Unless your yeoman puts a shiv in your back on the way. Right, be seeing you. I like that. You always gotta include that, uh... The, uh, you always gotta reference the prisoner in Psychor. <laughs> be seeing you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta always be, like, menacing. The Defiant is ready to receive you, Inquisitor. The Step Defiant? The transport when you're ready. Is Curland here? I was actually hoping for a mirror galaxy. Like a mirror match between two galaxy class ships, but okay. Oh, we didn't even put nose art on it. Come on. Jupiter Station. I am Marshal Catherine Janeway of the Terran Empire. Surrender, and your lives will be spared. Resistance, as the saying goes, is futile. Make the smart choice. Request denied, Marshal. I'd advise you to surrender while you're still able to do so. This is fucking hysterical. Okay. I talked about, like, I, I did last week, I did, like, this long audio log about uh like sitting down and thinking about like the, the stuff that happens to my character like each year and one of those things and this was about year three uh is essentially a sequel to deep space nine millennium uh that like 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 a my own headcanon sequel to deep space nine millennium of course but uh this character especially this character was created in the in the head start of 2010 so, this character was a full lieutenant. They were a senior staff member uh, when they took over their ship, as opposed to being a cadet. One of the things that my character, in character, turns to uh, for uh, when they're soul-searching, when, they're, making, when they're, they're facing a huge decision, is in their quarters, if you look at the wall... Uh, you'll see, like, a row of books, and I kind of headcanon that Jake Sisko, like, published Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine is, like, a series of, uh, stories that he wrote, essentially, about his time on the station and about, like, the Dominion War and all that. Uh, so you'll see, like, that collect those collected works of Jake Sisko, along with an autobiography, an unauthorized autobiography of, uh, Benjamin Sisko. He kind like he kind of like he kind like he like long ago kind of idolized him, and then he found out about all the stuff that happens in Deep Space Nine Millennium, especially the ending. And by the end of that whole affair, that pedestal got kicked over hard. He doesn't quite idolize him like he did previously. Uh, he doesn't have have him on that pedestal anymore. Uh, it was, it's very much a never meet your heroes kind of situation with him. Uh, and so it's actually hilarious that his mirror self is apparently commanding the defiant. <laughs> that's, that's fucking funny. Uh, how, how that, how that turns out. Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. You won't like I like you, I can't put give him like a a, a blood red nano pulse slurpa, but I will take this. He really should have put the nose art, and it's the NX, so it's the original. This is the Defiant from Deep Space Nine, when the Mirror Universe stole the plan. So this ship is like, oh god, fifty years old ish. This is like the original Terran Resistance uh, 
a hero ship, essentially. So, yeah, he's got he's got good taste in in a uh, in ships. I can't fault him that. It's not probably not going to last very long if it goes up against the Waglinde, but say la vie, it's the Defiant. I'll take it. A predictable response, Marshal. I suggest we teach them the error of their ways. My crew and I stand ready to lead the charge. Although that background is not the Defiant. I think you got a little something brown on your nose there, Inquisitor. Enough. Inquisitor, the honor is yours. Teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Those who manage to survive, anyway. It shall be done in the Emperor's name. Inquisitor, I have 17 cases of Romulan ale that say we're earning the most glory today. I'll make it 20 and you're on. Done. Good luck scoring even a single kill in that little bucket of failure. I'm just going to completely obliterate your defenses. Vessels approaching at high warp, Marshal. They'll be here in moments. Battle stations. Fire to disable. If Starfleet is so concerned about rescue operations, let's give them something to rescue. It'll keep any more would-be reinforcements occupied. As you wish, Marshal, for the Empire. Tactical. Fire to disable. That's disabled, all right, but uh, a little too disabled. You 
won't get away with this. Whatever you're after. Called it. He needs to be broken or killed. I'm good either way. Very well. We'll disable the station. But I warn you, if the Emperor's prize is damaged or lost, I'll kill each of you myself. Slowly. An agonizer booth at maximum setting will feel like mercy by the time I'm done with you. Do I make myself clean? As Crystal Marshal, fire to disable only. There's a price for defying the Karen Empire, and I am here to collect. Tactics concentrate fire on their habitat. <laughs> over now, Marshal. Prepare yourselves. We've got their backs to the wall. And something tells me they won't go down without a fight. As we planned, then. Two teams. Team 1's objective is to disrupt their security systems through sabotage. Team 2 will gain access to critical systems and take control of them. Once that's done, we can use their transporters to beam directly to where the Emperor's prize is located, and take it. Try not to get roughed up by a bunch of scientists and lab assistants. You do the same. Failure is not an option. Let's get moving, Inquisitor. As you wish, Marshal. I'm even called the Inquisitor. This totally is like a, a, Sith, a Sith character. We've got intruders in the storage area! Repeat, intruders in the storage area! He's even using the split beam rifle! I used to use that all the time! Like, I actually used to use the fleet split beam rifle. Part company. Get the job done, Team 2. We won't fail you. We won't fail you. Ugh. Let's go, Camarque. You know, when you're done kissing the Marshal's backside. Unlock the door out of the promenade, then proceed to the security station on this deck. Try not to get killed by the angry nerds, Captain. Enough. Someone get these doors open. I'm on it. Got it. Ready when you are, Marshal. They're beaming in. You're trapped. Surrender now, and no harm will come to you. Security fields. We need to keep moving. I'll reconfigure the isolinear chips here. Shut down power to fields. Okay, they didn't make me go to that mini game. That's a plus. Kumarke and I are in position. Waiting on you, Marshal. Tick tock. We're almost there. Stand by. Why would 
Janeway, would you please stop setting fire to the direction I have to go in? Get those bombs planted, Inquisitor. God damn it! Stop setting shit on fire! Cover me while I work. Clock's ticking. Still haven't heard the explosion. Having trouble? Not as many as you'll have if you stop distracting us. This room's cool. Nah, we can't let the players have this internal kit. That'd be stupid. We can't let the players have this internal kit to uh, like have player housing in or whatever. Charge is set. Get to a safe position. Move. Sucks to be you. Nice kaboom. We intercepted their security protocol transfer. Kumarke is taking control as we speak. Good. Once you take their internal sensors offline, we can move undetected. For now, we've got the security fields. Sure, if you ask me nicely. Captain, you are on dangerously thin ice here. Get that security field down now. Inquisitor, there's a Jeffries tube nearby. We'll use it to go between decks. As you wish, Marshal. All right, all right, it's down, go! Watch out! There's the Jeffries tube. Let's get climbing. Why'd they cancel Red Alert when there's still Terrans on board? That's a mystery you'll never solve, I'm afraid. Would you please stop setting fire to things I need to walk through? This is the transporter room. Take the lead. Breach and clear. What? They're here! Open fire! Keep the mage. Right. Beam us directly to the medical ward. Ooh, they got EV suits. Hey, look, it's the EV suits that we'll never get to use. That everybody wanted after uh, Tenebris Torquin. Energizing. Hmm. Something's wrong here. What's the holdup? We need to get out of here before Starfleet overruns our position. Starfleet's adapted their security protocols. We are locked out of the transporter controls. Time to go to plan B. This is nice. Meet us at the hub on deck seven. Janeway out. Lead the way, Marshal. Get to the hub as fast as you can. Perfect. I love running. How are you still alive? Stop. Tilly and her pet are a problem. Can I count on you if things go sideways? Of course, Marshal. Come 
Commander. We've got full contact incoming. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Not really. Let's fight our way to the others and regroup. Marshal, he's with us. How nice of you to join us. What took you so long? Did you stop your replicate some coffee on the way? Fighting now. Coffee later. We're clear for now, Marshal. Time to change things up a bit. Inquisitor, you and Tilly will get us access to the turbo lifts. Kumarke and I will focus on disabling the security lockouts. Once that's done, we should be able to get to the medical ward using turbo lifts. We'll rendezvous there. What they want is in the medical ward. Okay. Understood. We'll see you there, Marshal. She's hoping we kill each other, so she won't have to. This is Janeway. What's your status? About to take turbo lift control. Stand by. Ready phasers. They're here. Let's get this party started, nerds! Watch your fire. We need functional controls once we clear the room. Less talky, more shooty. Discovery really should have been set in the Mirror Universe. Victory at last. <laughs> like, it really should have been about a show about the Mirror Universe. With the characters in the Mirror Universe. Inquisitor to Marshal Janeway. We've secured turbo lift control. Your orders. Hold your position, Inquisitor. Captain Kumarke tells me she needs about 15 seconds to finish cracking their security overrides. If it had been set in the Mirror Universe, I would have actually almost bought all the characters' characterization as being within the Star Trek. As being of Star Trek, as opposed to just being of god-awful hack writing. So... Did Grandma Janeway ask you to kill me? I mean, I I'd be insulted if she didn't. Janeway here. We've done our part. Ball's in your court now, Inquisitor. Yeah, we'll get right on that, Marshal. Oh, there it is. There's our tally. There's a countermeasure blocking me here. You need to reroute through that console. Reroute complete. Starting on the second lockout. Cover me! Oh, are we are we doing this all in like one room? I need you on that console, Inquisitor. Try it now. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Nice work. We have turbo lift access here. Proceed with the plan. Kumarke and I will meet you at the objective. We're on our way, Marshal. I think Janeway will convince Kumarke to betray me. 
That seems unlikely. Your pet is very loyal. Hello. What are you even here for? You aren't working for the market. I was never. Make sure the job gets done. Uh, what's so important about the Emperor's tribe? As the Emperor, I'm sure he'd love explaining himself to you. Wow. <laughs> Stick with your day job, Tinker. <laughs> the joke will be on us if we don't stay focused. Mind if we cut in? Terran weapons look like awful Mass Effect, don't they? But then again, everything here looks awful Mass Effect. Everything here is all is uh, Sid Mead. I have to go that way, don't I? God damn it! Stop it! <laughs> So, are we looking for a cure for Aromagic Syndrome? Is the Terran Emperor Picard? Beginning decontamination sweep. Interesting cutscene there. This ends now, Terrans! It's over! You're right, Commander. It is over. So you. There is no way I'm letting you take ah! one for emergency transport. Last nerve. Threat neutralized. The prize is ours for the taking, Marshal. Indeed, Inquisitor. If you would do the honors and open the door. What's in the stasis chamber? What's in the box? Huh. I expected someone more impressive. That's Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's do that. To be honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far, but I'm happy to finish you off now. You've had the Emperor's favor long enough. It's our time for glory now! Really? Well then. If you want to kill the Queen, you need to deal with her. You're not as loyal as you led me to believe, Inquisitor. Afraid not, Marshal. Nothing personal. Tilly made a better deal. And it was for a lot more than Romulan ale. Perhaps we should gloat after the battle is won. What the? She's got some sort of invulnerability shield. She's a de- Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire! Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. How does that even work? Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's adapted. 
Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire! Mark my words, traitors. You will burn. So, uh, what's Jean Luc want with Hylia? Making a Borg army out of the Starfleet goons we dropped along the way was a solid move. Ingenious. Let's hope she's not making more as we speak. If she is, they'll be Starfleet's problem, not ours. If the Marshal survives, she'll be stuck here. Shouldn't be too bad. Your Federation prisoners are soft and come together. A fate worse than death for a Terran like the Marshal. Yeah, that's her problem, not ours. Get the transporter beacon on the Emperor's prize so we can beam her out of here. Right. Let's get the prize and ourselves out of here. So, how the hell, the last I saw, last we saw Ilea, or the Ilea probe, she was, like, she, she, like, mega merged with William Decker into a new life form. So exactly how the hell has that has like that happened? The Emperor's prize is ours. Let's beam up and get back to our universe. One to beam up. Energize. The rest, as they say, is history. Let's discuss how we resolve this fine little mess. Preferably over some coffee. I think that could be arranged. So now we know who the Tarans were after. What we still don't know is why. Perhaps you can shed some light on that, Marshal. That information is above even my pay grade, Admiral. Only the Emperor knows, and he isn't one to share such secrets willingly. I suspect you know more about the Emperor's prize than I do. What's so special about that woman? Uh, well, for first, it's not really a woman. We know she's one of ours. Lieutenant Ilea, a Delta navigator assigned to the Enterprise in the late 23rd century. Until recently, she was listed as missing in action after an incident involving a powerful entity in deep space. Actually, that's not Ilea at all. Ilea is dead. That is a probe created in the shape of Ilea by Viger. And, uh... Yeah, it technically should not be itself. Like, it should be a part... Like, it sh should be a component of another life form now. Like, there should be nothing left of Ilea or Viger, for that matter. Recently, she teleported into a Starfleet research station in the Epsilon sector and promptly collapsed. She's been comatose ever since. She was transferred to Jupiter Station for medical care due to her unique physiology. When the hell did that happen? I don't remember that happening. Am I being a bit more specific? Baldness isn't exactly a unique biological trait, especially for Deltans. According to the researchers on Jupiter Station, Ilea is a hybrid, a fusion of biological and artificial life. Very advanced artificial life. The research team could barely comprehend the nature of her artificial components. One of them told me it made a zoom type android look by comparison. Well, I don't know how a bald cyborg factors into making the Emperor's ultimate weapon, but he does tend to have plans within plans. Maybe he wants this Ilea to serve as a prototype for some new type of super soldier. I don't care what he wants. It's our job to stop him and bring Ilea back. So, we need a plan, and we need it fast. You'll have it, Admiral.
By now, Tilly and her cohorts will have returned the Emperor's prize to Terran space dock in our universe. You'll want to move fast and be ready for the fight of your life if you want to bring her back. Are we gonna have a problem here, Marshal? Let me be clear. This is an enemy of my enemy situation. I mean to get revenge on Tilly and her lackeys. And working with you will help me accomplish that goal. I see no reason to complicate matters. Do you? No, I do not. Then it sounds like we have an understanding. Now let's get to it. Very well. <laughs> well, well. It looks like my recent work with Starfleet on training scenarios has paid off. Never thought you'd have the guts to try anything like that, but <laughs> what can I say? You're just full of surprises. Restart the capture file. Thank you. Will you be joining the operation? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my kind of crazy. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Very well. And if my help isn't enough, you have two Janeways working on this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what those crazy old birds come up with. <laughs> Especially after a few pots of coffee. It'll certainly be interesting. We took some serious hits here today, but they've had their inning. Now it's our turn at bat. Starfleet will put their best and brightest to work on the rescue operation. I've been assured that our allies in the Alliance will do the same. Working together, we survive the Iconian War. We can deal with this Terran incursion as well. Indeed. One thing's for certain. Starfleet needs to improve the defenses here at Jupiter Station. I have a few ideas on that. But for now, Ilea is our top priority. Agreed. Oh, that's it? Okay, I thought I was actually gonna... I was actually mentally... Uh, uh, wondering if I have my damn split beam rifle. Let's see. Mako... Yeah, this is just the weapons that I have on me. I do not have my fleet split beam rifle that I used to use all the time. I just have the uh, Lego phaser rifle here. Some people do not like the Lego phaser rifle. These people are fools. I really do like that you can see, again, just like the Galaxy Bridge, I like that you can see the rest of the ship through the window. Yellow, yeah, unnecessary combat roll! Grand Tactical Officer, and yet again, we uh, have not bothered to give these people any names. Like, I'm not asking you to, like, like, I'm not asking you to actually, like, write complex backstories for them. But, you know, just give, just give the Voyager, the current Voyager crew some names. Like, keep them consistent with, like, the, uh, the NPCs that you see in the Delta Rising stuff. You know? You don't, like, you, they don't have to be part of a big story arc. They don't even have to speak, really. Just, like, keeping the same people here to just give the, uh, appearance of... A crew. Please remodulate your weapon. Why the hell do I have to remodulate? Shit! Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just pop the uh, the f fucking phaser shotgun on for a, a hot second. Oh crap! Where are you? There you are. And uh, use the integral mod remodulation. Um, and use the integral remodulation. To clear that. Uh. 
All right. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Mirami is going to have to come at me with more than that dinky knife. Because I've got my anti-son-of-a-bitch stick here. And the game wouldn't let me give him a blood-red Lurpa. Or a blood-red Batleth. Or blood-red something. That's okay. Can I use the triple lift? No! I can't use... I can't do this the diegetic way. I just have to, like, beam from the conference lounge. Okay. Oh, because it's a cutscene trigger. Captain's log, supplement. We have the Emperor's prize at last. With Janeway out of the picture, the is ours alone. We will learn the secrets of the Emperor's prize. By any means necessary. Kumarke to bridge. We're ready to begin. <laughs> One would assume game. All right, that's Redshift. The Terrans continue to perplex me. They went to a lot of trouble to kidnap Ilea, despite the incredible risk. It just doesn't add up. Something tells me that the Terran Emperor's plans involve a lot more than kidnapping. Exocomp kit reward. What the hell is this? Uh, liberated beams in three Terran exocomps, one of each career type. Summon three Terran exocomps. Uh, engineering fuse armor. Okay, it, it's some. Hey, that's actually not bad. 